Hey guys, and welcome to part two of the iMac G4 monitor mod. So, we have progress. The parts from China have arrived, and we are ready to test the screen. The controller board and the inverter are here, so let's take a look at those and see if we can get an image on the screen. So this was the main thing I was waiting for. This controller kit, which is what I ordered from eBay, comes with all the electronics I'll need, including the controller board and all the wires. So taking a look at everything, we first have the keyboard interface, which allows us to control various things with the monitor, including turning it on and off. We also have the LBDS cable. This connects the controller board to the actual LCD screen itself. We also have these two serial wires, which connect the inverter and the keyboard to the controller. The first circuit board we have is the LCD's inverter. This powers its backlight. Finally, we have the actual controller board. This is where everything connects together. Taking a look at the display, I've already attached a Samsung LCD, and it is not difficult to do. You just use the original mounting mechanism with the four screws on each side. So, let's get everything connected. This is the LCD inverter, and it connects to the screen using this two-pin power connector, and it powers the lamps inside the display. Next, the most important part, the controller board. It takes a DC 12 volt input and it outputs VGA. So taking one of these serial cables, I'm plugging here the inverter into the controller board, which is where it will get its power. And using another one of those serial cables, we can plug in the keyboard interface. Finally, we have the LVDS cable. This end goes into the LCD and this end goes into the controller. It's important to note that this red mark is the pin that goes into the bottom left pin of the controller. So first we'll connect to the controller board, and then to the LCD itself, using very little pressure on this end. Here we have everything connected together. Next we'll plug it into my laptop and see if it works. And if I open my laptop lid, it should... Hello? There we are. It's powered on. Fantastic. Now let me just put my password. And we're on the desktop. Brilliant result there. Looking absolutely fine to me. If we head into about this Mac, we can see that it is just running from my laptop. And if we go into the display panel, it's listed as LCD monitor. And I don't know why it says 18.9 inch, but that resolution of 1440 by 900 is indeed correct. I find it quite weird looking at the modern Yosemite UI on such an old iMac monitor that used to run something like Leopard. The design is just so unmatched, you can't find anything like this nowadays. And for that reason, this is why I wanted to use it as one of my main monitors. Just look at it. So that is it for this video. I really enjoyed getting that up and running. It's going to be very, very cool when it's done. Unfortunately, I can't actually put the entire thing together at the moment because the wires are far too short. I've ordered some on eBay just to extend the inverter cables and the LVDS cable, but that should be coming in the next week or so, so there will be updates very soon. Thank you for joining me for part two, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye guys.